This is the balloon on Erlenmeyer flask lab. All right, so for this lab, what we're gonna need is an Erlenmeyer flask, uh, a little bit of water, uh, a balloon, an ice bath, uh, a couple of uh, gloves. I'm gonna use these gloves as well, but what you do need is a, like a partner and some insulating gloves or something to hold the flask with. And of course, uh, safety first, I'm gonna use, put on my safety glasses. I already have those on. All right, so first step, you want to turn on your hot plate up to 10, as hot as it'll go. Then what you're gonna do, is take a little bit of water, pour it in the Erlenmeyer flask. You just want a little bit at the bottom, don't want too much because we want it to boil. Now, once you're done with that, what you're going to do is you're going to put that Erlenmeyer flask on the hot plate and let it boil. So you can see here, uh, I started one earlier just for the sake of time. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put the balloon over top the Erlenmeyer flask. So this is where it would be a good idea to have a partner, one to put on these gloves and hold it in place. Um, I'm going to just put these on and I'm going to be very careful putting them on the Erlenmeyer flask. Uh, they will insulate the heat enough. I'm not gonna be touching down here to the bottom. I'm just gonna be touching up here around the glass, just placing the balloon over the cover of the Erlenmeyer flask. So now that I got these gloves on, uh, they'll protect me enough. But like I said, uh, you should have a uh, partner uh, help you out with this part. So uh, I'm just gonna be very careful, put the balloon over the top of the Erlenmeyer flask. There we go. All right, so now what we can do is we can just uh, sit here and uh, wait and watch what happens. You notice the balloon is getting bigger. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put up those three gas laws uh, that we learned about, Boyle's Law, Charles Law, Gay-Lussac's Law. And uh, what I want you to see is that, well, uh, these laws, what they do is they see how two of the variables uh, affect each other, right? So whether it's temperature, pressure, or volume, change one, how does that affect the other if the other one is constant? So you can see here, obviously, first thing I'm doing is I, I'm changing the temperature of that water and notice what happens to the balloon. Now, before this balloon gets too big, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna place the Erlenmeyer flask in my ice bath, right? Now I'm gonna drop the temperature and we're gonna see what happens to the balloon. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off very carefully. What I should do is I should, uh, up at the top, it's not gonna be too terribly hot, but what I wanna do is I wanna put on some of these thermal insulating gloves. If you have tongs, you can uh, do that as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and use these just for safety's sake. I'm gonna place these, it gives me better grip. Now I'm gonna place it in the ice bath. Good, right? Good, now I now. All right, so I did speed that last part up a little bit uh, just so we could uh, see that balloon uh, shrink and notice that what happened is uh, it, it went into the, the flask, right? I did just have to help it a little bit, but now it's being sucked into the Erlenmeyer flask. So all of this can be explained using these three gas laws, or at least one of the three gas laws that is up here, right? So we're uh, changing one variable, seeing how the other one affects, and we're keeping one uh, relatively the same. So once again, this is the balloon on the Erlenmeyer Flask Lab.